Hello everyone, it's Tyler with Diesel Laptops. Today we're gonna try out this uh, Noragon J-Pro tool on this 2015 Freightliner. So as you can see in here, we have the uh, DLA Plus 2.0 hooked up to the diagnostic port there. This has got a little splitter for Qualcomm or something going on. But we're hooked up to our laptop out here. So uh, we're actually already hooked up to it. It's a very quick hookup. I'll hit disconnect just so you can see. So we'll disconnect from it and then we'll hit the connect button. And the great thing with Noragon, it's really easy to hook up. So we'll just basically pick what adapter we have and it does the rest by itself. So it takes about 45 seconds-ish at the most in order for it to hook up. So we're already communicating there, it's starting to populate. As you can see on the left, it's already found all the different modules that you can see on this particular vehicle. They're nice, clear, easy to use. Up here we have all of our codes that we can see. So if we go on the left over here and we pick like Detroit, it'll take that list and filter it down to only engine repair information. Now this laptop kit has all the repair information for all these codes. So as an example, let's look this one up, which is SPM 168 FMI 18. So I'm going to go down here to DTC Solutions. And I've already cheated, I'm kind of already there. But what you do is you just basically pick your engine from the list up here. And they're, they're all in here, everything's in here, even the cab controller stuff. So we'll pick Detroit, and then we pick what emission year, EPA 7, 10, and newer. We pick that one. And now you could go through this entire list of codes that are on here, and there's you know there's tons of them. The easier way to do it is just go to the very top and just type in 168. And now it'll only takes it a second, but it'll only show you codes with 168. So there's the one we have, 16818, battery voltage low, and down here it's gonna tell you exactly what's going on or where you would go to fix that code. So all of the codes are in there, all the repair information is in there, as easy as that. So let's go back here again to the, to the main vehicle so you can see the dashboard changes. The other thing you can do with this tool is you can do the common bi-directional commands. So let's go up here to bi-directional and click the button. And these are the commands you can do. So the common parameters people wanna change like road speed limits and cylinder, I'm sorry, cruise control limits, you can easily change. Uh, DPF park regeneration. You can definitely do DPF regens on all the class eight heavy trucks. Uh, the ones you can't right now as of today is only really Caterpillar. The rest of them for heavy truck are all covered. So I'll show you what that looks like. We're not gonna fire this one up or anything, but I at least wanna show you what the menus look like and kind of how it flows. So right away, it says, hey, before you do anything, make sure you go inspect all of these things. And it kind of pauses here for a minute on purpose so that it forces you to go do it or your technician. We hit close, and now we have this great looking picture of the DPF and the emission system with all the sensor values and everything else going on. Uh, so it tells us our soot level, if our engine's derated, if we're inhibited at all, or if any emission lights were on, they'd be populated right in there. And all you would do to start it is you would simply go down here to start DPF regen, and away you'd go. All right, so again, all the tests are there. You also have some bi-directional commands on your Wabco ABS. There's the couple of them that are listed in there. Again, they're all very simple, easy to use. We'll run the dashboard lamp command so you can see it. And basically, it's just point and click. You turn it off and turn them on. It's toggling the uh, ABS lights up on the dash right now for everybody. So we'll hit exit, we'll go back. And you can do all kinds of other things with this. You can monitor your live data. You can print out great looking reports, complete vehicle health reports. It's just a, it's a great overall tool for someone that's looking for great heavy duty truck coverage, plus the ability to kind of scan everything else. So obviously, you know, to give an example of that, it's like over here like right under Sam cabin. You can see I have an active code there. Um, and all these voltage low codes are because our batteries are low. But say you didn't know that, and you got another code here at 168 FMI4. Again, we hop down to DTC Solutions, and now we go to Freightliner, and then we go to SAM Cab, and we already have our 168 typed in there, but right there is 168.4. I can click on it, and down here, it tells you everything, like check the system voltage. Basically, batteries are under voltage. That's what's going on, and that's exactly what our problem is. So, great tool from Noragon. Uh, check it out. Also, we'll be doing some more videos on some other models as well. Thank you for watching.